Hi everyone. In this video, I will be showing you how to fix the EA app crashing, not launching and errors. The EA app is required to be able to play certain games on a Windows 11 and Windows 10 PC. So if it's not working then you won't be able to play the games, so I have put together different methods that you can do to fix the EA app crashing and not working on a Windows PC. Method 1. Run EA app as an administrator. Now make a right click on the EA app. Go on the now chose the compatibility option and scroll down to check boxes. Put a check on the option run this program as an administrator. Go select apply and then press OK. Method 2. Clear EA app cache on EA app recovery as administrator. Open the file location of the EA app by right clicking on the app. Right click on app recovery. Now click on Run as Administrator. Click on the Clear Cache. Now once it is done, it will relaunch the EA app. Now you can try to launch the game also. Method 3. Download and install Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable. If you have not got the latest Visual C++ installed on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer or missing it completely, then this will cause many issues with the EA app not loading or crashing on startup. Download the latest Visual C++ from the Microsoft website. In a page that looks like this you need to scroll down and you will then see two different setup files. You've got an x86 and an x64. If you're not sure what version you need to download then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then go into system. You will now see next to system type what version processor you have. And as you can see I've got the X64 as I have a 64 bit which means I need to download the X64 setup file by clicking on the link here. Once the setup file has finished downloading go ahead and run the setup file. Now follow the steps to install Visual C++. Click on Restart once the installation has finished. Method 4. Rename folders. Press Windows plus R, then type %localapp.a% then click OK. The eApp has two folders that it uses to store data and settings, etc. for the app. So by renaming these folders, the app will then recreate new fresh files. You will need to sign back into the app though, so ensure you know your login information before doing this. Now find eDesktop and Electronic Arts and rename them to eDesktop Old and Electronic Arts Old. 